Our other big story tonight, one of the local people accused in the siege at the U.S. Capitol faces a judge. His face has been splashed across national and social media for several days now. Robert Keith Packer was taken into custody this morning in Newport News. He faces a number of charges. Packer is the protester who was caught on camera wearing a sweatshirt with the word Auschwitz on it. One of the photos showed Packer inside the Capitol during the attack. Turn on your side's Mighty Lena Valores has the latest for us. Lena? Well, Anita, Robert Packer was arrested this morning by the FBI Norfolk Joint Terrorism Task Force, then put into the custody of the U.S. Marshals. The government is not seeking to detain him, so with a few conditions in place, he will be released from jail. It's the photos that led to this arrest. First, Robert Keith Packer outside of the U.S. Capitol one week ago, Camp Auschwitz written clearly on his sweatshirt. Then, another photo, this time inside of the U.S. Capitol during the deadly insurrection. The third, Packer, in the same sweatshirt inside of a Newport News convenience store. That last photo and the tip from the store owner who recognized Packer's sweatshirt led authorities to his Newport News home. The FBI Norfolk Joint Terrorism Task Force arrested him without incident early this morning. He was taken to the Western Tidewater Regional Jail. For his role in the insurrection at the Capitol one week ago, Packer is facing two charges, knowingly entering or remaining in a restricted building without lawful authority and violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. His first court hearing, which happened early this afternoon, was virtual. Packer said he would hire his own attorney. The government is not seeking to detain Packer, so the judge said he'll be released on his own recognizance and he will not pay a fine. However, there are two conditions he must follow. He must be present for a virtual hearing in federal court in D.C. on the 19th, and he must stay away from D.C. unless he's summoned there by the court. The judge says Packer has two days to sign off on this bond agreement. Many people are asking, why did the government not seek to detain him? We reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office in D.C. and have yet to hear back. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more. In the meantime, you can read the full criminal complaint right now on wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Maria Elena Belores. 10 on your side. All right.